Demix is the only character who was in Organization 13 whose origins are just completely unknown. According to Nomura, this was said by the director of the series during the 20th anniversary event Q&A back in early April. When asked who exactly is Demix, he would say, This question was asked a lot. I'm going to withhold the answer because if I reveal it here, then there'd be no point in showing it in a future game, and I'd rather save it. He's the only character in Organization 13 who is still shrouded in mystery, so I'm thinking of touching upon it someday. Someday? Who is he? Who is Demix? I'm curious even more at this point. I thought we were going to see the real Demix in Union Cross, and it didn't happen. Now, I'm potentially expecting Dark Road, but at this point, he could just be some random character down the line. Perhaps as a reveal in Kingdom Hearts 4 or something. By the way, that response Nomura made kind of soft confirmed Luxord as the driver in that secret episode at the end of Remind, or my bad, Luxord, who is a character that has been just as much of a mystery, if not even more so than Demix. We still don't know either of their names. So the the fact that he said Demix is the only one still a mystery either means we're supposed to assume Luxord is the driver for Yuzora, or he simply just forgot that Luxord was still a mystery also. Well, we won't know until we do. There is a other possible time period a character like Demix could show up in, and that would be Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. Same with Luxord under the circumstances that he isn't the driver. I've often fantasized about this time period having some sort of Keyblade Council, similar to what the Jedi Order was in Star Wars. This council would have been the main group of people running Skala at Kylum after Ephemer's passing. Characters like Sigurd and Brain would naturally be on it, and perhaps other new and mysterious characters would be on it as well. New characters we'd be introduced to, or familiar faces seen under a new light. Though, based on Demix's personality, would he really be the type to be on the Keyblade Council? I don't know. I think it's likely he's just a regular Keyblade builder doing the mission like our player character and Missing Link in Union Cross. It's insane how popular of a character Demix is though. I wouldn't say he's up there with like our main Keyblade wielders or anything, but in terms of non-Keyblade wielders in Kingdom Hearts, I would definitely say he's pretty up there. I've seen a lot of people say he's one of their favorite characters. He made quite the impression on people in Kingdom Hearts 2. He was very funny. He was definitely an outlier in the organization. Didn't really care about all the nonsense going on. Mostly just wanted to laze around and do his own thing, as minimal effort as possible. Interacting with him in days was hilarious. There is a big reason people want to know who this character is so bad, and there's a reason there's such a big interest like in this character in the future, if he is getting a bigger role in the story, which from what it sounds like based on that quote Demura made, I don't believe he fully has it mapped out who he wants Demix to be yet, or at least he has no plans for it like super soon, just later. It's being saved for something later, and that's going to make the Demix and the Master theories run rampant. I still think it's possible he shows up in Missing Link, probably in some big story update later in the game when the game is like well on its way, leading it to its finale. We finally get to see Demix in the game, or perhaps again, it's for some title like KH4 or even a title after. I think it's really cool that some fan favorites in the Kingdom Hearts series are getting like some of their roles in the future arc. It's something I've said in the past that is really cool about Kingdom Hearts. Almost everyone gets their turn, has some role to play. Kingdom Hearts does not uh, fully believe in side characters, which I know is to some people's annoyance, but for the people who do find themselves getting attached to like other characters like Demix, characters like Luxord, even Lexeus and Zaldin might end up getting something major down the line or doing something really cool. Even people who are the most reluctant to get into Kingdom Hearts, I feel like would find a character they could get attached to, a character they could probably follow, which may not carry the series for them, but someone that they'll like love even and i think that's this good character writing by nomura and i think that's overall a good thing if you can have a fan base that can get attached to just pretty much anyone across the board i mean i've seen people get attached to random union cross characters and missions the series really is something special but let me know down below who do you think demix is going to end up being what are your predictions if it's even possible to predict who he ends up being is he someone in quadratum is he someone in missing link when when do you think we're going to get the reveal for him and how do you think it's going to go do you even want demix to be anyone you just want him to be the same goofball that we've like always known him as or are you down for some crazy lore reveal regarding him let me know but that will about do it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like 
share the video with a friend or a family member, and last but not least, if you have not already and want to become a part of the union, all you have to do is hit that red subscribe button down below. My name is Prodigy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out, you guys. Bye. Now she's a daydreamer. She's pregnant.